our students need to learn how to read by understanding patterns in music. In this particular piece, Hawaiian Rainbows, which is a lovely folk song, we want our students to instinctively know by this level of grade three of the Succeeding at the Piano Method lesson and technique book, what particular intervals really look like. So at the very beginning, this is a basic major second. And then we have a big jump from the D to the D. Can they hear that octave? And do they notice that there are how many notes skipped in an octave? One, two, three, four, five, six. And can they instinctively know that octaves always are a space note to a line note or a line note to a space note? And then the next pattern will be just this major third at the end of the phrase. And then what do they notice about this pattern? It's descending and it's chromatics, which means it's all uh, going down by half steps. And then we have a lovely next phrase going to what kind of interval? Oh my goodness, do we remember the song? Hush, little baby, don't say a word. So that particular interval that begins the song, Hush, little baby, is a major sixth. So again, can students instinctively see that a sixth interval is a line note to a space note or a space note to a line note with how many notes skipped? One, two, three, four. So in the beginning, uh, when students are learning in intervals for the very first time, it's so important for us to have them write these intervals down, seconds, thirds, fourths, fifths, sixths, and so on, and then go ahead and put little X's in the lines and the spaces that they skip so that they can immediately start to recognize intervals. So here we have this pattern, and then we have this, we have another sixth interval, and we have to ask our students, hmm, is that major or minor? So we go back to that major sixth interval that we hear in the beginning of Hush Little Baby, but that is not what we see in this measure. It instead is a minor sixth. And then the next section, oh my goodness, they immediately can recognize that's a big octave leap. And then another major third, just like the beginning line. So, oh my gosh, this piece is an A, B, A, B prime form. So form is another good way for our students to recognize similar patterns. So in the left hand, you can definitely have the students block the chords. Here's a G major chord, which is Roman numeral one in this piece. Then they play C major, which is Roman numeral four in the key of G, G, A, B, C. And then they jump down to another G major chord, another tonic chord, and then they play a D. And if that is scary to them, finding that leap from the D to the D, we just say to them, okay, do you see a line note to a space note and how many notes or how many lines and spaces are skipped? And they'll say, oh yeah, that's six, six skipped. One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> that's exactly what an octave always looks like. And here we have a D down here. And what is that? tonal center, well, that's the dominant seventh in the key of G, right? So if we go G, A, B, C, D, there's your five chord. So if we went from one to five, and then we go back to one with a G chord, jump up the octave for the G chord, again, ask them, all right, what is that pattern? Okay, it's just a major triad. What major triad is it? It's C major triad. What Roman, Roman numeral is it in the key of G? One, two, three, four, it's a four. Absolutely.